Austrian filmmaker Sandeep Kumar makes a film about women's empowerment and shatters stereotypes when it comes to following your dreams and ambitions. Iconic actress Farooq Jafar, who recently won accolades in Gulabo Sutabo, stars in and as Mehrunisa. Sandeep, I want to talk about your film Merunisa. Now, this is a really, really important film, especially given what's going on right now in the Indian film industry. Merunisa is a story about three women in Lucknow and um, how they're dealing with patriarchy in their lives and uh, their relationship, uh, you know, affected by that between among each other. And uh, it's uh, primarily the story of uh, Merunisa, who's an 80 year old woman from Lucknow and uh, she is, uh, you know, just getting out uh, from the suppression of Wandavab and uh, lands up uh, being, uh, uh, you know, uh, sees herself in the suppression of another Nawab that's Bollywood. Begum ko hero banao mea, begum ko. Mai karungi ye role mai. And in Merunisa, you actually are working with the iconic uh, Farooq Jafar, who we know through uh, Gulabo Sitabo, Peeply Live, numerous other roles. I believe you actually wrote this film with her in mind to play Merunisa. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I had been a great fan of Farooq Jafar and I thought she was the one, if somebody could do it in India, she was the one. So uh, I had it, in, I had, I, I had it, I had her in mind when I was finishing the story. But initially, I had this story about you know uh, uh, an eighty year old, an old woman in in India and how she deals with a dream which she has, and she's at the end of her lifespan, and you know, and so so what do you have? Either you say it's time to pack up, and you just like you know. Um, lay back or you just or you say I still I'm still alive I still have life and I'll you know I'll, I'll work towards my dream and fulfill that ye kaun se unrealistic world mein jee rahi ho tum you are just like ammi wo is umar mein wo lead role hone ke khwab dekh rahi hai aur tum london jane ke mom wo apni zindagi jeena chahti hai bas baat hai kisi nawab ke pair ki jooti fir se nahi banne ki balki bollywood mein how did you go about getting her on board? Because she seems like a very feisty, strong, you know, strong-willed woman. How were you able to convince her? So I had the script ready and I, uh, I uh, you know, uh, flew down to India and I spoke to her about it. And uh, But she was already 87, I think. And she said that she is like, she was uh, uh, doing a movie called Photograph with Ritesh Patra and uh, and she said that we need to, if you want me for the main role, and she was very excited about the script. And uh, uh, what I got to know later on uh, when we were shooting, that it somehow resonated with our own life story. So she, you know, her relationship with her husband and how she had that, you know, a kind of aggression in her and uh, she wanted to make a statement probably I didn't know at that time but she loved the script and she said uh, you know this has to be done and I will do it Change it? Who has done 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 it? And this is probably the first time or one of the few times in Indian cinema that we're seeing an 87 year old woman play the lead role in a film, especially an Indian film. Talk about what she was like on set. Um, you know, did she have on days, off days? Was she always ready and able to, to perform on the set? Yeah, I was actually quite, uh, uh, you know, worried. This was one of my biggest challenges that how am I going to deal with, uh, you know, her on the set and being, you know, she has done a lot. I mean, she's she's been in the industry for such a long time, 40 years. She's done Umrao Chan and she's went on Peeply Life and Sudesh and all that. Those are smaller roles. And, uh, and she was younger. And I was a bit worried about how am I going to get this done? And I wanted to have a chat with the previous directors, but I couldn't get through to Ritesh Patra. And, you know, so how do we, how, how do I, you know, how do I communicate to somebody like her? So it's like, you know, something different if you're talking about films, if you're discussing with, I don't know, Nawaz bin Siddiqui, a young guy who's, you can talk about films, you can talk about European cinema, but how do I communicate what's on the script with, with Farooq Jafar, you know? And um, so that was one uh, challenge. The other challenge was to keep her fit for those 25 days. 
So we uh, sat down together with a team when I reached Lucknow and, you know, we figured out a plan, how we are, you know, how when she's going to come on set and we have some resting times and, you know, because you know how it is in Lucknow, everybody is like, we discovered everybody is a Nawab. So, <laughs> so everybody, everything takes time. If you say, say seven o'clock, people land up at nine. So first we had to figure that out. And I had like, you know, my DP is a German guy and he was like, uh, if the time is six and if it's five past six, he says we're already late. And there people, you know, came in. So we had to find a workaround for that, that people are punctual. And the other thing is that we had to find, uh, you know, discuss with her team the exact plan. Uh, you know, when is she going to come? She has enough resting hours, her diet and all that. But I have to say that uh, I was extremely impressed because she was, she was never late on set. She was always there. She was always, she was up and agile, you know, whenever her, uh, you know, whenever she was in front of the camera. Um, uh, I feel my personal feeling is that she's um, she's an incredible actress and she's been so much so underrated in India for such a long time. And you know what an important film at such an important time in uh, the conversations we're having in the Indian film industry around nepotism, around patriarchy. Uh, do you think that this film is so relevantly placed, uh, you know, especially right now? Yeah, I mean, we didn't plan it. We didn't plan it that it's going to come out right now. It's going to finish right now. But uh, but that's that's true. I mean, that's that was also, also the idea why I thought about this subject. I mean, this is one of the most toughest uh, script for me uh, to ri write because uh, it, it's about three women, it's three different generations, uh, you know, and it's in Lucknow. It's not placed over here in Europe. It's, I mean, I, I'm from Delhi, and but I've been out of India for such a long time. And how do you think how, you know, how these things work? Uh, but what, uh, what was uh, surprising me and, uh, you know, what was the trigger was, uh, then I wondered where are all the yesterday actresses, you know, the great actresses of, you know, uh, our times who were like, n before I was in fact, even born Nanda, Wahida Rahman and all, they're still around, but I, you never see them around. And, you know, you see, I was, I grew up with Bollywood cinema and you saw parents and grandparents, but they were just placeholders. You know, you have grand dada, dadi, nana, nani, but it's, they're not central characters. So I was like, you know, I, and, and then when I came over here and I started doing workshops, here with Michael Haneke and all this. So I, I figured out here they have central characters who are older people, right? If the story is about older people, you have older people. And and I and I had questions in my mind why why did they earlier in the nineties, still in the nineties, used to have if they used to have a mother, the mother used to be so young or a younger actress and they made her old, you know? And so all these things I I just wanted to uh, dig in deep into what is the reason behind it. Is is it um uh, that uh, is it all about business? Is it all about you know male stars who are bringing in money? And uh, what if there is a story which is woman centric? Uh, how do they make it? So uh, that's exactly what the story of Perunissa is about. Uh, it's all about you know it's a money making machine, and you're taking known stars who are already there. You're taking male stars who are already there, uh, predominantly male stars who are leading. You know now they are with a very few exceptions. Most of the you know. Uh, leading actors are all male actors, especially if, you know, women cross the age of 40. And you hardly see, you know, if they cross the age of 50. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure there are stories which are, you know, woman-centric. So why not have them, you know? And seeing such a, you know, such a veteran actress like her who's 88 performing this role, you know, at the back end of her career and a lifespan, that is exciting. That's really exciting.